All right, Titania, thank you so much for agreeing to talk with me a little bit more about parenting and the digital age. I learned a new term from Bark Social Media, and it's a fun term. It's called sharenting. <laughs> what is sharenting? <laughs> Sorry, you just made me giggle. <laughs> but yeah, it, it's a new term, thanks to social media. And I'm guilty of it, so not judging you. Oh, I'm sure I am too. Yeah, but it's, you know, it's where parents go to social media to uh, sing praises about their children or share struggles about parenting. You know, it's, it's all the above. It's, it's sharing, it's oversharing. Mm -hmm. um, and we're all guilty of it. Right. So, you know, like, I know it's probably different for every, for every parent, for every couple, for every family, but like, what's, what's going too far? Can you give us an example mm. of sharing going too far? Yes. Um, yeah, there's plenty of examples. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, unfortunately knowing what I know about online predators and how they're oftentimes people who, you know, mm -hmm. um, posting any photo of your child where their private areas are not covered online. is just a, it's, it's a no, no, I, it's, mm -hmm. you know, babies are so cute. I get it. And toddlers are so cute and they say and do cute things, but just make sure they're fully clothed when they're saying and doing the cute things that you upload. Um, also, the window of time you have to share things about your child uh, before they get annoyed with you for doing so is very small. I'm sure. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. And so you really want to be cognizant of looping them into the, hey, what you did was so cute. I would love to share with this group of people. Is that okay with you? Um, it's important to respect their level of comfort with having their information, their persona out there, because depending on your privacy settings, when they get older, some of the not nice kids can go back screen grab and torture them. And that's, nobody mm, wants that. Right. Also, you know, parenting is hard. We go through very challenging things. Um, and so while we can turn to Facebook or Facebook groups or Instagram, comment sections, et cetera, to get advice about certain things, just realize that, you know, you're putting it out there. And um, I know there have been times when I've been afraid to ask for advice in certain Facebook groups, local ones, for example, because those same parents uh, are, you know, my son's friend's parents or teachers at schools that I might want him to apply to one day. And so just managing the flow of information is critical. Flip side, I can't tell you how thankful I am for the parents who have been vulnerable mm -hmm. and shared their stories online mm -hmm. because it helped me to know I'm not alone. Right. So it's a balance. Yeah, it really is a balance. And I like what you were saying about making sure that your children are clothed. You know, I had a friend um, who was just so excited that her, her daughter was finally getting potty trained and she mm. shared this picture. And I hate to say it's burned into my head. The kid's not wearing a, you know, any clothes at all. And it was just like, and she finally did take it down. So, you know, good on her for that. But like you know, some, some discretion has, has got to be shown because like, you know, like we talked about in the other show, you and I were around before the internet. And while there may be, you know, embarrassing pictures of us in the bathtub, those pictures are stored away in some shoebox in the attic. They're not on Instagram for thousands of people to see. No, they are not. <laughs> Yeah. And so um, it, it's, I'm, this is just where I'm kind of glad that, you know, we grew up in this age and I think we kind of owe it to our kids to give them a childhood that's just not on display and, and to be able to do that. And I guess that's where we really need to be watching out for sharing, right? Absolutely. Yeah. It's, um, would you want that online about you as a great barometer? Mm, right. Very true. You know, I've, you touched on this a second ago, and I've kind of theorized, and you know, people who listen to my show have heard this before, that you know, in a few years, in a few decades, that I think that all of Facebook is going to be made public, and mm -hmm. everybody will be able to go back and look at it like it's an archive of like, mm -hmm. hey, this is what life was like in 2020 when the pandemic hit. Let's see what all these people in my community were saying back then. You know, is do you do you think that anything that we post is really truly going to live on forever? I do, unless it's not backed up to a cloud. Like when mm. you upload data 
to a social media platform, data meaning text, a photo, a video, a comment, a message, anything, any data that you input, it is now, you don't own it. Right. Um, and you can request that the platform delete your data and they, I believe, have to comply. They can take up to 30 days or even 90 days in some cases to do that. But if you don't explicitly request uh, that these platforms delete your data, they could potentially hold on to it forever. And even if you do request that they take it down, breaches happen. Oh yeah, um, happen people, all the time. Yeah, that humans are responsible for mm-hmm. the security, right? And humans mm-hmm. are not infallible. So, you know, and, and you know, think about how many devices you go through over time, laptops that die, phones that you upgrade, et cetera. If you don't do a hard, hard wipe swipe of them, and in some cases, give it a bath, a literal bath, like mm-hmm. drown it in water. So sure. it's like completely, yeah. you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That device is going to end up somewhere in some landfill. And there's, there's, there's always a way. If you just live by the motto that there's probably always a way to retrieve data, that's why there's a field of, you know, forensics for a reason, um, you'll be good. All right. I understand. You know, um, I think some people think that, you know, you talked about disappearing messages earlier. They think if they don't see it on their timeline anymore, that it's gone and they can just post whatever and do whatever. And I don't think people realize, like you explained, you know, it goes to a cloud. It goes to a server somewhere, you know, out in the desert and it lives there and it's got all of your uh, information on it ready to go. Sure does. Sure does. And for um, a while, a few years ago, people were freaking out because they realized that if you didn't turn location information off while you're taking photos, that somebody could figure out your location from a photo. Mm -hmm. Like there's things you don't even realize that you might be sharing or that is being collected about you. Um, It's pretty fascinating. Sure is. Well, Titania, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for sticking around and talking to me about sharing. Um, Again, remind people where they can go to find out more to protect their kids online. Yes. So it's very simple. Go to bark like a dog barks dot us, not dot com, bark dot us. And from there, you can access our blog, our social media platforms, uh, sign up for a free trial of our monitoring and screen time solution, connect with our team. It's, it's a really great all in one place.